How you doing guys, Zara here. So I want to discuss of a possibility and also a little bit what we should expect to see from the Grand Theft Auto 4 port, remaster or a remake. Now, I would love nothing more to get a remake for Grand Theft Auto 4, but I want to be a little bit be realistic and say that unfortunately that is the least likely possibility that this would get a remake. It would be absolutely be incredible and I would love nothing more. But, you know, on a serious note and of course with the recent direction that Rockstar or Take-Two Interactive has been going, I am really am not expecting to see a remake. But now we have to discuss regarding of a port and of course the remaster. I'll be honest and I do expect that we will sometime soon whenever when we we'll should see something related to Grand Theft Auto 4 coming on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 and of course the other consoles and you know other platforms. But basically I'm expecting to see that Grand Theft Auto 4 or a, like a complete edition including on both of the DLCs will be getting some sort of a port or a remaster on the current gen consoles. I don't know when and there is also a possibility that we may have to wait a lot longer than we're anticipating. Now, 15th anniversary, just it went by. It really has. Like it's been already almost a year and it's been already too long to see sort of announcement. Rockstar completely has just, I don't know, ignored it. Maybe on purpose, maybe not. Perhaps maybe we shall see something related to Grand Theft Auto 4 for the 16th anniversary because it's actually coming in a few more, few more weeks, coming a few more days. And I really am looking forward to see what they got in store, at least just acknowledge the damn game. If they acknowledge it, this means that it could be good news and something could be on the horizon. But 16th anniversary doesn't necessarily mean that it will be a big deal for Rockstar having an anniversary for Grand Theft Auto 4. It's still, it's just like a question in my mind. Why? Of course, with the Grand Theft Auto 6 first trailer that was released in December 2023, it's also a possibility that Grand Theft Auto 4 or any sort of a release will completely get overshadowed due to, well, Grand Theft Auto 6. It makes sense. Grand Theft Auto 4 will not be getting some sort of a release coming in 2024 because a lot more people are anticipating for, as you guessed it, Grand Theft Auto 6. Even though that's another thing I want to mention. Why did they particularly mention that the release of Grand Theft Auto 6 will be coming in 2025? But they could have just not mentioned anything at all. There is still a possibility that we may see something from Take Two Interactive or Rockstar Games. Grand Theft Auto 4 coming sometime maybe in summer, maybe for the 16th anniversary of Grand Theft Auto 4 in April 28, 26th, right? And just basically something, right? This year in 2024. I would love nothing more. And I'm not expecting Rockstar the ones making this. And I'm expecting some other developers making a port or remaster. Now again, like I said at the beginning of the commentary, I would love nothing more for a remake, but it's the least likely direction that they'll decide to go with because that would be quite expensive to develop. Maybe we did not know anything related to it, and it's just that rumors are keeping in check, and so perhaps somewhere in the background for the past five years or so, they've been working on a remake for Grand Theft Auto 4. Man, that would be a genuine big, big, big surprise. That would be awesome. But still, I want to see at least before the release of Grand Theft Auto 6 in this year of Grand Theft Auto 4, or at least something related to it. It would be awesome. Now, most likely decision, or at least the decision that they will go for is to, well, have a similar approach as they have for the Red Dead Redemption port. I'm talking about a port. I'm not really expecting a remaster more because it's more likely that we will get a port instead. At least it will be bloody playable on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, because we have no way of accessing this game on our newer consoles, well, due to it's being stuck on a PlayStation 3 console. It's, it really sucks, unfortunately. More moves have been made by Take-Two Interactive that multiple of the mods that were making of Grand Theft Auto 4 better and, and look better than ever and just simply getting cancelled and getting banned, in fact. So there still is direction that we may still see something for the Grand Theft Auto 4 as this has been already seen for the Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, right? The San Andreas, Vice City and Grand Theft Auto 3. There is still a possibility that we could see something for Grand Theft Auto 4. Now, okay, let's say it doesn't come, right? Let's say it does not release this year. There will be no news, nothing. Nothing comes out in 2024. Then, following year, I genuinely doubt we shall see anything other than Grand Theft Auto 6. Here's the question. 
when can we expect Grand Theft Auto 4 port, remaster, remake? I'll say not anytime soon. That's what I mentioned. Basically, I think that Grand Theft Auto 4 or anything related to it will be, or at least we should expect, would be in 2028 due to being of a 20th anniversary. Because we have seen Trilogy for the 20th anniversary due to the release of the Grand Theft Auto 3 back in 2001, I believe. And so this is why we got to see and play this Trilogy Definitive Edition in 2021. So 2028 is a very, very long wait. On top of that, 2028 will be the next gen consoles as well. By that time, we will perhaps already seen how the PlayStation 6 will look like. Insane. Like we're talking about now that the possibility of the PlayStation 5 Pro are closer than ever. And now I'm talking about the PlayStation 6 and we still have to wait for so, so long to see some sort of a game that relates to Grand Theft Auto 4. Then it's insane just to think about that. I really am hoping that's not the case. I really hope that we will see something this year. So let's discuss regarding of possibilities to see what should we expect in improvements for Grand Theft Auto 4. First of all, if this game is a port, do not expect anything significant, if at all, in fact. I would though say, do expect similar things as we have seen from Red Dead Redemption. Right, maybe 60 FPS. I would love nothing more because genuinely this game needs a 60 FPS. Some additional things in the settings as well and the visuals front, but other than that, nothing really else. If it's a remaster though, well, there's a lot more room to grow there. And that's fantastic news. Such as the graphics, right? Of course, better textures, improvements to the lighting, vibrant environments that they can definitely make, especially improvements to the face models, because that's the biggest thing what really is outdated. I'm not really expecting to see a complete makeover, but if we are talking about a remake, oh, well, that's a different story. This can be a completely new thing, just like we have seen in Mafia 1 remake. Well, a definitive edition of that. It's a little bit of a suggestion as well I wanted to sprinkle in here, but I'm not too sure if a lot of you will agree with me. I would say that perhaps get rid of the dull gray and maybe even that yellow filter texture that this guy going on within the world and make him a little bit more vibrant, even though I cannot understand why they made this decision back in 2008 to go with this direction due to the story being so much more, well, depressing and revenge tale, basically. But I still think that they need to go a little bit more vibrant in terms of the colors, you know, make it more pop. But I don't think that's really is an issue, right? I think you can still make the world look more beautiful, but yet keep the story still grim and depressing and with tale of revenge. I really like the story and I really hope that the world gets a little bit more of a makeover in terms of having a lot more improvements and also, of course, the vibrancy. Okay, the gameplay is very important. They need to do some sort of improvements here because it's my main concern and criticism, I want to say, is the shooting mechanics. I think that they need to take a Grand Theft Auto 5 and implement that shooting mechanic into Grand Theft Auto 4. And I think it will do good. Now, I'm sure a lot of people may say there's some sort of a skill development that you require in Grand Theft Auto 4 mechanics. I don't necessarily agree with that, to be honest with you, because there's a lot of luck based in there too. Maybe at first, like, I'm not sure, quarter pass of the game, right, at the first quarter. Maybe Nico is getting used to, to his pistols and his weapons and then have a like implementation of Grand Theft Auto V style. Well, you know what would be the best thing? Have an option. Have a Grand Theft Auto IV style shooting or Grand Theft Auto V style shooting, right? I think that would be the best thing. Now, regarding having an option, I want to continue on that. Driving mechanics. A lot of people will disagree with this part. But I personally loved the driving mechanics in Grand Theft Auto 4 because it was genuinely skill dependent. Due to that, the cars were so heavy and they constantly were like kind of glued to the ground. And even though this did slide a lot too. And I loved that. To me, it felt like cars needed to be literally driven. But again, having an option, having similar to Grand Theft Auto 5, I think it would do good as well. But that's really is up to the preference. So that's why I say the option of that would be the ideal choice. Maybe also improvements to the cover system. It is quite outdated now, of course, have similar to Grand Theft Auto V. I don't think it's even necessary to have an option, just have a simply improvement to the, the covering system. Weapon wheel is very important and also the radio wheel basically, just have a lot more simplicity and life quality improvements there. 
Now, here's a little bit of a tidbit that I, I genuinely don't expect. I am talking about like a, some sort of an expansion, right? Like expand the story and the lore within Grand Theft Auto 4 and all the deleted content that were going to be inside Grand Theft Auto 4, just work on that and actually include it. I'm not really expecting this unless, of course, if we get a remake, then yeah, you can perhaps may even expect sort of a lot of these things. Now, it's easier said than done. I understand that. That's why I said I really am not expecting this sort of thing, especially if we're talking about being of a remaster. Now, here's an extra tidbits I want to mention to improve and also have additions to Grand Theft Auto 4. I'm talking about the customizability. Now, I'm not expecting this to happen if we're gonna get a remaster, but I am expecting this to happen if we get a remake, such as include the hair different styles that you can have on Nico, right? Have more clothing options. I really am surprised the way that there was so limited in clothing options. That really needs to be improved. More options to customizability in general. For example, also maybe have Nico finally have fingerless gloves. Because like he was actually in the theme in that portrait and yet he didn't actually wear them it was kind of a surprise that it looks so awesome and yet he can't even wear them include that actually include that nevertheless having an option even if it's just a port i don't know i don't know if this will actually happen <laughs> now he's a very very ambitious one and i'm definitely not expecting to see this i'm talking about car customizability I'm not expecting this because, again, port, a remaster, it's a very big undertaking. And yet also, a remake, mm, I'm not sure if we can expect that too. Nevertheless, never say never. 2028 marks of a 20th anniversary, as I have mentioned already. Being of 20 old game, and yet we're not seeing any sort of additions, any sort of support or a re-release. That's genuinely a surprise. Now, additions, thankfully, we, we did get, like back in 2009 and stuff like that, with the Battle of the Gate Tony, and of course the Lost in the Damned DLCs. I'm so glad the way that they actually have released those DLCs, because, oh man, they were incredible experiences to play through. I'm very much puzzled to see why there is nothing related to Grand Theft Auto 4 getting re-released. It's a surprise. Again, I'm not really expecting Rockstar to develop this or to make this. I think they're gonna hand out the resources and the title to some other developer and let them get the hand reins in this. But I just hope it happens and I hope it will be good. Have a similar approach as it was done for the Red Dead Redemption. But again, I'm very much hoping to see a remaster instead. Hell, even going to a remake. But at this point, like I had said, just give me something, please. It's my favorite game of all time. I very much want to see this game being done right. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all and have a wonderful day.